Hi everybody! I want to show you the painting from video 526. It turned out amazing! I love it. I absolutely love it. And I love the shape. It's just fun. So I'm excited about this one. I like it. Um, and today I'm going, I made um, paper the other day. Um, and this is just Canon glossy photo paper. And I've already cut it up for um, collage. And so it's not really showing up super well. But it was amazing. And like here's, I had this sitting around. So I made a little magnet from the same colors. And isn't that stunning? I love it. So I am going to make a 12 by 12 using those same colors. Um, I wanted to do it that same night, but um, I'm using phthalo green and I had run out. So um, I had to go to the store and buy more. I also, that night, I had, after I'd done that red pour, I wanted to do a similar or the same yellow but I ran out of deep yellow. So what I did, and I'm actually surprised it turned out the color that I've liked. Um, I mixed, I had, um, oh my gosh, it wasn't processed yellow, it was, I'm blanking. Anyhow, I mixed up a lighter shade of yellow and then I mixed in some of this metallic orange and it turned out a really good color. So I'm happy about that. And then Artist Loft Aqua Green was the other, Impression Blue. And this just says, welcome to my videos. Look in my video descriptions. Please read those. Please look on my Amazon list for like the pan I use, etc. Um, I want to thank, down here is my PayPal, I want to thank Linda for her PayPal donation today. Very much appreciated. Um, so let me remove this. And so I then did by Deep Yellow. And Artist Left did not have phthalo green um, in this style. So I brought blah, blah bought their level two um, acrylic, which is supposed to be of better quality. Um, but when you're doing art like this and you're mixing Floetrol and water and additives into it, um, my personal opinion, um, as long as it's the color is staying rich, uh, we're adding so much stuff to it that it's kind of breaking down um, the, you know, that's natural what it's made. I, does that make sense? I hope so. Um, but I'm going to look on the back. Does it even, yeah, the level one just says fast drying, water-based, versatile. This one says highly pigmented, can be used with mediums, clean with soap and water. Um, so, yeah, I was, okay, wait, before, oh, hold on. I just mixed up white, too, and I forgot to put the lid on it, so. I am probably going to add white to this just because I don't want an entire 12 by 12. Okay, that is not going on. Just, like, block of green. So I will probably add white, but I'm not sure when or where. Yesterday, I had exactly a half hour before I had to be at work, like including, like, I left my house at 10.25, and I had to be there at 11, so I had 35 minutes. I managed to go to the grocery store, go to, the, go to Michael's, drop some paperwork off, and get to work on time. Oh, my gosh. I've never been so proud of any accomplishment in my life as that one. And I told everybody about it at work. 
was like, you guys are never going to believe how much stuff I just did in 30 minutes. I was very proud. I can be... So, yeah, I went to Michael's and I got those paints and I got a new um, paper slicer um, with better measuring on it so that when I cut my strips, they don't end up all starting to go diagonally like my handwriting does without lines. So, and I got through the line because there was a woman with a bunch of stuff in her cart. I was like, oh my God, this line's gonna take forever. It took three minutes, I timed it. <laughs> all right, I need a drink of water. I, okay, I did put it next to me. Hang on. All right. I'm trying to remember exactly how I did it, but I don't. Oh, shoot. I got yellow in my phthalo blue, or my Prussian blue. Bummer. And I'm making dropping dots everywhere, but that doesn't matter. Gosh, I'm going to look that. Um, it, I, it is, if you have, um, written me on YouTube or Facebook, it's been, um, I haven't been able to like respond. I've been working more and just very busy. So I apologize for that. But I did see there was a post on Acrylics Pouring Basic Facebook page um, asking their, their paint was cracking. Um, and somebody asked, I, I think it got to where it was like, well, how, you know, how long had it been, the drying time? And after two days, this person's painting was still wet. Um, my paintings are all dry within 24 hours and most are and most of those by 24 hours I could even put my fingernail in um, touch it with my fingernail and it wouldn't leave an indent I keep my paints pretty thin as we've talked about so I oh man I did not want to pour it like this I was gonna oh, whatever It'll all work out. Um, what the heck was I saying? Oh, yeah. I keep my paints a lot thinner. Um, so my... So that's probably one reason why mine don't crack. Even, um, even some of them that I'll leave, like the Lazy Susan, and I'm like, oh, gosh, you know, this is pretty thick right here. Um, the next day, it's dry. So even my, oh my gosh, it's pretty thick, is still dry. So if you're having trouble with cracking and your paintings are wet longer than 24 hours, um, your thickness of paint might be to blame. Isn't that pretty? Ugh, I don't like how it looks when I stretch it out. It doesn't look good like that. <clears throat> you know I'm going to get all up in there and swirl it, so don't get too attached to how it looks at this moment. So I'm actually breaking up cells that are in there. I don't always like that look.
I seriously need to buy an airbrush gun. I love my little green magnet though. It's like the perfect little, well, actually right now it's just a baby canvas. I need, I ordered magnets on Amazon last night. Oh, and I added to my Amazon list, um, little baby canvases and little easels. Um, it's like a set of 12. They're really inexpensive. They're so cute. And they have little, like my little, I believe they're this size. I, by memory, I'm not sure. But I don't think they're flat. I think they actually have a little bit, a little wood frame. And it was, I could be making this up, but I want to say there were like 72 of them for 36 bucks or something. So I'm totally getting those. Because those would make awesome magnets and they're super cute. If I added those to my Etsy store, would that be of interest to anybody? Um, they would probably be quite inexpensive. It could be like one of those Amazon add-on items. <laughs> you bought a painting, you get a magnet. Unless you have a stainless steel fridge, and then I really can't help you out there. Because then my magnet will be of no use to you. You know what? I better... Look at this cool stuff going on. I am loving this. But I'm going to torch it right now. Because I wanted to see how much of that was going to happen. There's still so much paint here. Like you can see the canvas dipping. How am I going to, let's see. I think I'm just going to keep doing this. She didn't like that. I'm going to let that drain off, actually. Not a whole lot. Ooh, I should just make another magnet. That's what I should do. That's how I could get rid of it. Soak that up. Maybe. Each one comes wrapped. Like, that's so lame. Oh, there's my little magnet. But now I gotta, I don't want that white in the middle. So I'm going to set it here while I pour down and let some of the color run off onto it. <laughs> it 
it's so cute. Hang on, I'm gonna tip this a little bit and then I'll show you. So pretty, look. I love it. I'll let that sit right there to dry. Okay, now back to the real deal. Oh my gosh, there is so much paint. changing up my direction of what I want for this painting just due to the fact that there is so much that's neat Knowing that there's so much paint, but yet I still have to add more. <laughs> so I'm just slowly now tilting up. But there's so much paint that's moving quite quickly. I adore these colors. husband texted me tonight that his basketball girls are going to state so you can give a yay coach Osborne it's pretty cool he's still not home but it will be very cool so I'm sure they will win state You can watch it. I don't, I don't know if you can see it. The progression of it moving downwards on the side is cool. Gosh, there's some neat webbing cells. this part is slow and tedious but I don't want to screw up what I've gotten so far <laughs> because I like what I've gotten so far Ugh, I was trying to get rid of this eye eyeballs in my art. Oh, I think it'll go off because I think this yellow is going to go all the way to the top. As you know, I like my lines, so this is making me happy.
all that I've tilted off, I still need to put white up here. And right there. I guess this whole side did not have any. Oops. That glove was green. Now you can see it how I've been looking at it. And I am pretty darn happy with it. And my little magnet guy is turning out good too. Kind of like him, he's got no yellow to him. Let's see, carry over. See, that's where I'm putting the green strips. Oh, that glare. That part's pretty neat. So thank you so much for watching and I will catch y'all next time. Bye.